Yes, you wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me once again. So today, I'm back out on the canoe. It feels like so long since I've been out on the water, so I'm really excited to get out for a camp today. I've camped out with Ben before, down river, but I've never actually paddled up this stretch, so I'm quite excited to see what's ahead of me. Like I say, don't know if I'm going to be able to get very far, don't know if it's going to be too reedy, too shallow, how many portages, I'm not sure yet. So I'm really excited for the journey, it's a lovely day, I've got a few beers, I've got some food to cook up, no idea where I'm going to camp, that's really part of the adventure for me, I love the excitement of not knowing where I'm going. So uh, yeah, stick with it, let's have a good camp. Looks like a fallen tree up ahead already. So we've got the boat out the water, let's go and have a look where we're going to put it back in. Aha, it's over here. You can see that it's quite well used. Not far to go, that'll do. Warm today. So quiet out here. Oh, what a lovely day. It's absolutely stunning out here. Loads of blue dragonflies on the water. I've seen a few buzzards. Keep my eyes peeled for kingfishers. I have seen them on this river before, further downstream. I'm on the Silk Road. Cheers. Mango and lychee. Woo. All right for some, isn't it? Right, here's an idea. Why don't we all put our money together? We'll buy loads of lottery tickets. Buy this place, we can have a massive community camp here. All have a few beers, go swimming in the river, barbecue up there. What do you reckon? <laughs> Alright, boys. Oh, it looks like a little bit of engineering porn coming up. A lot of you viewers probably won't appreciate something like that as I do. Natural tender, we'll have that. Well, I'm having an awesome day. I absolutely love being out on the water. I should do it more, really. I've never actually used this to light a fire, but it's definitely gonna work. Look at it. I just smeared a load of this on. It's by Bristol CBD, I think. Thanks for the little care package, guys, after the uh, mozzie diss. Big old poplar. Are we going to get under here? I'll have to lay back. Oh, there we go. Cool, that's close. Oh, made it though. Loads of hazel. There's loads of places to camp around here by the looks of it. Look at how narrow it's getting. I'm going to keep pushing through though. Right, I found a potential camp spot here, worst case scenario. I just needed to go for a wee, so I got out the boat and I found this little hazel copse. There's plenty of space in here. I could have a fire right on the riverbank close to the water's edge. I could plough point my tarp off this branch and there's firewood over here that's been cut before. Someone's already cleared this area partly. There's a chopping block there as well. The boat can just stay where it is. And someone else has chopped this. I'm guessing it was overhanging at some point. Yeah, fail safe spot then.
If the audio is shit, by the way, I do apologise. I've sacked off the microphone for this video because most of my footage recently has just had so much fuzz in it that it's just not worth it, so I've sacked it off. Sorry about that, I'm going to be replacing it soon. And that's why I've done a couple of sponsorships recently, just to get the money together for a new tripod and a new microphone, so cheers for watching that. Yes, mate, look at that bit of kit. It's getting pretty thin now. I don't know how much further I'll go. I can imagine this path's only clear so far. We'll keep pushing, let's keep pushing. Right, it's kind of just staying like this all the time now. I've just had a quick stop and looked on Google Maps and the next village isn't too far away and looking on the satellite it looks like there's going to be nowhere good to camp. So I think this is a good hint to turn around and go back to that spot so I'm making the executive decision. Even look behind me, look at what I've been chomping through. It's going to be work even just getting back but it's been really awesome exploring it. I know I could push further and get to the next village, but I'm looking for a camp spot, so that last spot kind of jumped out at me and I instantly thought that would be the spot. And I am actually kind of wanting to go there, but it is just village and it's sparse, so probably going to be no good, so let's turn around. Whew, it's actually quite tough. Has anyone seen The Last Kingdom? Do you know where they're paddling up to the uh, bridge? Come on. Battling it. <laughs> We're getting there. We're moving. It's all good. The waterways are like a hidden part of England, especially the rural ones that are really overgrown. There's so much exploring to do. Not a lot of people really come out and find these sort of places and come to these natural areas. The amount of blue dragonflies I've seen today is awesome. They're one of my new favourites. I saw one kingfisher, I couldn't get it on film though. Just that flash of blue. I'm back at the spot that we came to earlier now. So I'm just going to moor up, get the boat secure, and I'll take my kit onto land. I can't decide whether to have an afternoon cool off dip or a morning refresh wake up dip. I could do both to be honest, but hmm. I've only just noticed there's like a farm over there. We'll still stay here though. We'll be able to have a fire around there. And then if I crouch down, you can see how much cover there is. So we'll be sweet here. And then round the back, there's nothing else either. There's no land, this is actually a little island. You can see water there, and it just goes all the way around. So, we are safe.
Right, we've got a little bit of an issue here. I was just starting to think about lighting the fire and I went over to the stump to check that out, just to have a look. And in there is an adder. So, literally my bed space is just there. So I definitely don't want to camp here now. So I think I'm going to pack up and move back somewhere, move back down the river and find somewhere else. But yeah, I don't really want to get too close to it. An adder is Britain's only venomous snake. They do try and avoid you. I've got one on film before. But, yeah, we've got to go. I don't want to stay knowing that adder's here. I'd be so paranoid sitting around the fire. And when I went to bed, it's just not worth it. You can tell it's an adder because they've got, like, black diamonds on their back. And they're slightly grey in colour. Yeah, it put me off. Shame, though, because that was quite a nice spot. So we're at the new spot now, just got the boat tied up and it looks like a bit of a grazing area. I think I heard some sheep earlier on the way past here, but there's plenty of firewood about. It just looks like some big country estate grounds. I can see some buildings right in the distance. You can see that the cattle come down here to graze though, so I might be getting some visitors in the morning maybe. And I heard a scrambler getting revved around earlier as well and it looks like these could be tracks from that, but I still think this spot will do. I've kind of parked myself as close to the canoe as possible. I'm not going to set my bed or anything up yet, just in case they come back out, but that's where I'll be chilling for a little bit. Still right by the water, canoe's looking awesome. Just want to give a big shout out to Ant from Bean Camping Podcast for lending me your canoe all this time. Really appreciate it, mate. You're a legend, dude. So there's two arms on it and the idea is you can adjust them up and down the post. This one I'll use for my billy can or the percolator or my little titanium mug, whatever you want to use. Tonight I'll be cooking some veg in there so the billy can will be going on there. This one's my grill, I'm going to be using it for some lamb kebabs tonight. We used 8mm for the main steak and then 6mm for the arms. I was hoping the 6mm would still be fine for the billy can. With the angle, I just didn't want it to lean over into the fire, but that's actually pretty spot on, to be honest. Got my bed squared away for tonight as well now. Just on the deck. Easy does it. What an awesome day this has been. Look at the spot as well. It's nice to camp outside of the woods sometimes, just to mix it up a little bit, especially getting out on the boat. I absolutely love it. Little frog. Grubs up then. Got some salt and pepper for the veg as well. I didn't wash my Revolution race trousers, so I'm back on the old school pair that come with a free beer holder. Good morning. Look, another beautiful day. I know it's supposed to get even nicer this week. I'm going camping with Ben tomorrow. We think we're gonna go out on the push bikes. I think we're gonna go down to that spot from the last video, have a little swim, keep cycling a little bit further and then go for a camp down there. And I think I'm gonna film that, so that'll be pretty good. Anyway, there's two shout outs I wanted to do quickly. The first one's to my mate Dells. She's brought out some bags of coffee. She's Dells underscore outside on Instagram. She's a top lass. And her partner's called Adele. They've got a cool boat and they're always outdoors doing stand up paddle boarding and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, shout out to you. Shoulder and blend coffee. 
And to accompany that, I want to give a quick shout out to Tom at Back Garden Bushcraft. I bought a little spoon off him at the community camp just to try and show him a little bit of support. So I'm going to have this in my kit as my little coffee spoon. So cheers, mate. And cheers, mate. I slept awesome last night. I think I only got bit once on the eye socket. Considering I was by the water all night, I mean, I did put my hoodie on and I don't think I'm mozzy layered up again since before dinner. So only having the one bite, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna get the fire on, get some of this coffee in that percolator and have a nice cup of that to properly wake up with. But yeah, stoked for the day. I won't be hanging around too long, I don't think, because I want to get back and hang out with Catherine for the day. Yeah, that spoon's a perfect size. This is at the back of where I stayed last night. I don't think I got any clips of that adder. You just have to believe me. Trust me, there was no part of me that wanted to leave that spot. I didn't want to mess with it and it was looking straight at me. I didn't want to go back just to get it on video. That's only the third adder I've ever seen in my life. I remember as a kid being in the Yorkshire Dales, seeing an adder in a dry stone wall. And then I saw one that I got on video. It's on the intro actually. I can't remember which video, I'll put it up there. Considering how much time I actually spend outdoors, that just shows how rare it is to see adders in the UK, really. like I've never been here. Absolutely no trace at all. Lovely spot this, really enjoyed this camp. So nice I filmed it twice. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing a buoyancy aid, it's because this river's like two meters deep. So in August, I'll be paddling four days on the River Y with the group of people I like to go camping with. Catherine's coming as well. Ben's gonna be there. All wild camping. Basically a little four day river holiday. So I'm really, really excited for that. The bushcraft show's next. And then a couple of weeks after that, we'll be on the river. So if you wanna see a lads, lads, lads video, then look out for that one. Well, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much once again for joining me on another camp. It's been a really fun little paddle camp. We still managed to get a good spot in the end. I'm coming back up to the bridge now where I'm about to get out, so I'll leave it here. Thanks very much. Cheers for watching. Have a good week. <laughs>